Rockets are basically the backbone of space missions. A successful rocket launch signifies a successful space mission, which in turn signifies the power of a nation in the space sector. It is no secret that the Chinese Long March rocket or Changjiang CZ family is the pride and backbone of the Chinese space agency and the nation's space programs. The Long March rocket family boasts a number of well-built and powerful rockets that have let the country up several times in the past and continue to do so. Apart from the space missions, the Long March rocket family has also carried the modules of the Tiangong space station successfully and placed them into orbit. These rockets have not seen any setbacks or major technicalities so far. Even the latest module of Tiangong, the Mengshin module was launched aboard a Long March rocket. In today's episode, we are going to talk about these space rockets by China, which played a major role in launching the Tiangong space station and its counterparts. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. Before we dive into these rockets, here is a list of the modules and parts of Tiangong Space Station that have launched so far and the launch vehicles that were used. Tiana Core Module, Long March 5B by 2. Wenchen Module, Long March 5B by 3. Mengshin Module, Long March 5B by 4. Apart from these mega launches, here are some of the smaller missions destined for the Tiangong Space Station and the launch vehicles used. Tanzhou 2, Long March 7. Shenzhou 12, Long March 2F, Shenzhou 3, Long March 7, Shenzhou 13, Long March 2F, Shenzhou 4, Long March 7, Shenzhou 14, Long March 2F. These missions were the usual cargo and docking missions that were crewed missions as well as unscrewed missions. Some launched ports and parts of the now complete Tangong Space Station. The first module that set the basis of the Tiangong Space Station was the Tiana Core Module. In all, Tiam, Wenchen, and Mengshin, all modules were launched by Long March 5B. On 14 January 2021, the Chinese Space Agency announced the beginning of the construction phase for China's three-module space station. The core module Tian passed a flight acceptance review and was set to be the basis of the Tiangong Space Station. This core module provides living space and life support for astronauts and houses the outpost's power and propulsion elements. Chiani then launched on 29 April 2021 atop a Long March 5B launch vehicle from the Wencheng Space Launch Site. After the core module was placed into its orbit, the empty first stage of its launch vehicle entered a temporary, uncontrolled failing orbit. Some concerns were raised over possible damage from debris of the uncontrolled re-entry. Observations showed the rocket was tumbling, which complicates predictions about an eventual landing area, although the most likely outcome was a maritime impact. The rocket later landed in the Indian Ocean west of the Maldives. Much of it was burned up in the atmosphere prior to its impact, which caused no damage. The Long March 5 is the fifth member of the Long March family. It is the first Chinese launch vehicle designed to use exclusively non-hypergolic liquid propellants. There are currently two CZ-5 variants, CZ-5 and CZ-5B. The maximum payload capacities are approximately 25,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit for CZ-5B and approximately 14,000 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit for CZ-5. As of 2021, a three-core, human-rated variant, referred to as CZ-5G, designed for manned moon mission, is under development. This variant will be capable of launching a crewed spacecraft into lunar orbit. It is currently the most powerful member of the Long March rocket family and the world's third most powerful orbital launch vehicle currently in operation, trailing the Falcon Heavy and Delta IV Heavy. The fourth flight of the Long March 5 program also marked the debut of the CZ-5B variant. The 5B variant may also be considered for launching Constellation satellites in future with Yuanjing upper stage. It is yet to be seen but is highly likely. Apart from the three major modules of the Tiangong Space Station, the Long March 5 has seen action in various missions in the Chinese Space Agency. The Chang'e 5, the next-generation crewed spacecraft, and several Shenzhen missions were also launched by the Long March 5. It is undoubtedly the most successful and the most reliable counterpart of the Long March family and continues to serve the Chinese nation in the space sector. Seas 2F, LM2F, Shenzhen 
These are the names the Long March 2F rocket is commonly referred to as. It is the part of Long March 2 rocket family and the Long March family as a whole. Designed to launch crewed Shenzhou spacecraft, the Long March 2F is a human-rated two-stage version of the Long March 2E rocket, which in turn was based on the Long March 2C launch vehicle. Externally, the rocket is similar to the Long March 2E from which it was derived. Most of the changes involve the addition of redundant systems to improve safety, although there are some structural modifications that allow the rocket to support the heavier fairing required by the Shenzhou capsule. The rocket is also capable of lifting heavier payloads with the addition of extra boosters to the first stage. The rocket also has an advanced fault monitoring and diagnosis system to help the astronauts escape in time of emergency, in other words, a launch escape system, and is the first Chinese-made rocket to be assembled and rolled out to its launch site vertically. Being a variant of the Long March 2 family, it remains in active service along with its Long March 2C and 2D counterparts. The 2F variant has launched tons of Shenzhou crewed and unscrewed missions as well as various cargo missions. Also known as Changing 7, CZ-7 and LM-7, the Long March 7 is a Chinese liquid-fueled launch vehicle of the Long March family. Designed as a replacement of the Long March 2F, Long March 7 and its variants are expected to be the workhorse of the fleet, eventually accounting for around 70% of all Chinese launches. Long March 7 will also play a critical role in the Chinese space station. It was used to launch the Tianzhou robotic cargo spacecraft and will eventually replace the Long March 2F as China's crew-rated launch vehicle. The Long March 7 is the medium-lift variant of a new-generation rocket family that includes the heavier-lift Long March 5 and the small mid-cargo Long March 6. The structure is based on the reliable, man-rated Long March 2F launch vehicle. It inherited the 3.35-meter diameter core stage and 2.25-meter diameter liquid rocket boosters. Where the earlier Long March 2 rocket family used expensive and dangerous N204 UDMH propellants, the Long March 7 uses LOX and kerosene. The engines are shared with the Long March 5 and 6. The goal was to build a more cost-effective and less hazardous rocket family to replace today's Long March 2 and eventually the Long March 3. It is capable of placing a 5,500 kg payload into a sun-synchronous orbit SSO, of 700 km, about 430 miles. Whether or not the seventh generation and its variants will replace the earlier Long March rockets is yet to be seen. The Long March 7 variants are set to be exemplary and new generation rockets which are expected to become better and less costly than their predecessors. These rockets have successfully launched Chanzhu 1-2 three and four missions as well as other missions by the Chinese Space Agency. With everything about the rockets and the launch vehicles that launched the Tiangong Space Station covered, it's time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, be sure comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we'll see you in the next one.